This week on the Cruising Kiwis, we abandon Ivan at Batari Bay. We catch a meteor. A meteor. It's not a meteor. And <laughs> no D in it. We catch a meteor. You see it? Yep. And Rob dines on cicada, the new white meat. We spent several days enjoying all that Matari Bay had to offer, taking in its twin coastline, running on the long sandy beach, and exploring Bomb Rock. Ivan and Declan were invited out on a boat of friends they made in the bay. So that boat roaring across there has got Ivan aboard. And Declan. And Declan, and they're going to go do some, uh, they call it biscuiting. Biscuiting. Uh, biscuiting. Whoa. Woo! Whoa, big wipeout. <laughs> <laughs> Big wipeout. Ivan and Cooper, newly made friend, going into the beach for a kayak surf. Be a bit of fun. Ivan's about to get smashed. <laughs> Just gently paddle. Oh, he's going backwards. <laughs> Oh, that's excellent! <laughs> Coming in! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Five! Ivan! That was a good backwards one. Good backwards one. Yeah. How was it? It was scary. That's fun! So while the boys play on kayaks and whatnot, Finn does the work. Doing the work. He's doing the work. Can he focus? <laughs> Stay focused, Finn. Focus. Focus. Don't let me distract you. <laughs> the sweat there, Finn. No, he didn't. Saying farewell to our little man. He's off for an open night with his new friends. <laughs> Just for our new friends. <laughs> and we'll be meeting them again tomorrow night down in Pahia. See ya! See ya! See ya! Found this in the bush, 
And um, we are going to be doing a number of these programs over the coming weeks, months, years. Living off the land, when we get to Cambodia, we'll do tarantulas. I've done tarantulas. It's time for you guys to do tarantulas. No thanks. Disgusting. Crickets. A friend of mine has uh, got a cricket farm he's developing for cricket flower. Anyway, we may have to live off insects at some point. So I've caught this cicada and I'm going to dine out on it right now. Beautiful little thing and a good protein. Got the pan ready. We'll just shuffle off here into the kitchen, into the galley. And here we go. Got a nice little bit of butter in there. That did is actually butter. Looks a bit frothy, but that's butter. I don't know how long to cook this for actually, but looking good. Rachel, are your taste buds going nom nom nom? I, I just suddenly don't feel hungry at all. Hmm. I expected your mouth would be salivating Strangely, at the sight of this. It's not. Alas. I tell you what, it's only one, you can have it all. I'll get the next one. Okay. About ready to rock and roll. Look at that. And I've got a little garnish ready. I had to prepare this earlier. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's about absolutely perfect, ready to go. Yum. And we transfer to the dining room. Oh, here we are in the dining room. Seamless. Now, boys, who's up for a, a cicada surprise? Oh, oh, we, can't eat the garnish. Fill it. Alright, I guess no one's really up for that, so I, I shall prepare myself. I've prepared this setting earlier. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay. <laughs> Table for one. Table for one. Anyone else? That's the way you like it. <laughs> um, look, I've seen people eat this before and I think they survive, so it can't be doing any harm. In fact, I think it'll be very, very good for me. That's what I thought. You are being transported to Thailand. Mmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really yummy. <laughs> mm. That is seriously tasty. It's like... Um, Peanut butter. Wow. Um, Kind of like white bait. Oh, yeah. Or um, kind of the last bits of a barbecue that like the crusty, crispy sort Ooh, of. Goodness, yeah, yeah. Those are the bits I like. And only a bit tasty. I think that maybe that little bit of salt helped, I suppose. But oh, gosh, that was really good. I highly recommend Cicada Surprise. Oh boy, I want one next now. Meal. In fact, the next time you go into the bush, go hunting and foraging for cicadas. We have an extra teenager on the boat. This is Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello. This is Finn's friend. He has come to keep Finn honest on the rowing machine. Get these things, and we have to say goodbye to the Bay of Islands. We're now heading down to Whangarei for um, to haul out, and on the way, we're going to visit some of the little boats. We, we will not have time for all of them, and hopefully, we will have time for the poor nights. Will we have time for yeah. the poor nights? Yes, we will. Hole in the rock. We are approaching 
Um, I don't think we can go through the rock. I don't think we can go through the rock. I don't think, I think our mast is too high, but we'll take a closer look when we see it and uh, make, a, make a judgment call then. A popular tourist destination, the Hold in the Rock was created over centuries by wind and waves. According to Maori legend, local warriors would paddle their canoes through the hole in the rock before departing for battle. Drops of water falling from the cave roof above was a good omen. So Rachel won't let me go through the hole in the rock. She's going through this gap in the rocks instead. I'd prefer if you didn't do this one as well. Hawaii, feeding on top of the water. That's a lot of Kawai. Kawai or Trevelli? Might be Trevelli. Well, if it's Trevelli, let's catch some. No, they won't. If take it's it. Kawai. When they're feeding off the surface like that, they don't take baits for some reason. We just saw something bigger down here, though. Charms and spells. She knew the darkness of love how to love. So here we are entering Fungamumu Harbour. Or Cove. Fungamumu, anyway. Um, great name, Fungamumu. Beautiful place. It came highly recommended. Lovely little spot. Far away from everything. Except these other boats, obviously. Yeah, nice. And Fungamumu is famous for its whaling station. So there's a whaling station here somewhere. Old whaling station. So we'll be taking a walk up to see that. Okay, you can drop it. Good teamwork. Oh, beautiful drop. Next week on the Cruising Kiwis, Rob's tooth falls out. My tooth fell out. The sound of cicadas gets Rob's mouth watering. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I could seriously do a bowl of those cicadas. And we visit the incredible poor nights. And uh, we've turned the engines off, so we're just sort of floating in here. I found this little bee. So it's doing a lot better. Rachel's got some sugar water for it. It's looking a lot better, but he's still looking a bit marginal, isn't he, Rachel? Yeah, he's moving a bit better, but look, he oh, he's going to have a... It's a she. He's going to have a little... Oh, he's going to cut well into it. Oh, that's oh, not good. That's not good. We'll we'll report say, back later. Just say, oh, 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 drop the other. You don't... Oh, report back later. Let's get you mad. So our little bee died, even after we'd given him the sugar water. He didn't make it. He was too much for him. Anyway, I'm going to see if Rob wants to pry him up. <laughs> you got a bit of a rip in your pants there, Dex. No, leave me alone.